Hello and welcome into the inaugural Heart Men's Lacrosse Media Day. My name is Jillian Carroll. I'm your host today. Men's Lacrosse is the newest championship sport sponsored by the Heart Athletic Conference. And we are delighted to be joined today by head coach of Mount Vernon Nazarene, Ryan Farr, and also junior Matthew Choir. Coach Matthew, how are you guys today? Doing great, Jillian. Thank you. Good. I'm doing good as well. Yeah. So glad to spend some time with you guys. Just really excited to hear how you're feeling about entering the heart and the upcoming season. Coach Fari, I'm going to start with you. You became the first coach in MVNU men's history, lacrosse history, back in 2018. So now, today, you're still leading the Cougars. Just share with me a little bit about how you've enjoyed starting the program really from scratch um, and taking it to where it is today. Oh, 100%. It's been a fun journey. I mean, it's filled with uh, everything from the ups and downs, the peaks and the valleys. It's fun to, uh, you know, finally be at a place where where we have had, uh, I mean, culture is not something that's built easy. Uh, and it takes a while to do that. And you know, it's guys like Matthew, who are, who's on the, uh, the call today, that have just done an awesome job of building into our team identity, team culture. We really feel like we're, we're finally at a year where, where this is MV and you lacrosse. And we get to celebrate all that we've built over the years, but uh, it's been fun to work with all these guys uh, who have you know, just invested so much. It's, it's a lot more investment from players at the beginning, uh, setting the tone, becoming the core of the team. And now we're just really excited to get on the field and, and get to show what we've built over these last few years. Yeah, I'm sure you are. And can you speak a little bit about the excitement as far as now competing in the heart? How much are you looking forward to that? Absolutely. So, you know, we spent the first few years as an independent team, uh, which certainly, you know, it, it had its pluses. We got to play a lot of different competition. We got to go all over, um, you know, really the country uh, to be a part of the NAIA. We were really excited to have this conversation with the Heart Conference because, you know, we look at the institutions that are in there. And this wasn't just about becoming part of a conference, but becoming a part of this conference with the level of play. Um, each one of these institutions in their athletic departments are very focused, not only just on the athletic experience, but the student athlete experience. And so just looking at competitive level uh, commitment to these students, just having an awesome, awesome time. Uh, we knew that these were schools that we shared a lot of likeness with. I think a lot of people were like, well, this is pretty crazy. A team from Ohio <laughs> joining up with teams from Kansas and Iowa and Missouri. But it actually has been wonderful for us. Uh, it's enabled us actually to, in a non-conference schedule, play a lot of local schools. Um, you know, for, for MV and U, we're in Ohio. We're a very D2, D3 heavy area. So it's nice because it gives us the opportunity to do that before the season in non-conference play and then just go play some great competitors as part of the Heart Conference. Yeah. It's going to be a big season, that's for sure. Matthew, I would love to hear your thoughts on that. But first, a little bit about you, your hometown, and what you're studying. Of course. I'm a junior accounting major. I'm from Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Oh, wow. And okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so as far as Mount Vernon goes, um, what brought you to that campus? And how did your lacrosse journey kind of land you there? Of course. Yeah, so Coach Farr actually was the initial person to reach out to me, and I um, wasn't planning on coming to Ohio, wasn't planning on leaving my state, really, but um, MV and you um, matched what I was looking for in a school. Coach Farr already kind of mentioned that high um, regard for success, both on and off the field, and having both coaches and professors who recognize that like dual aspect of the student athlete really helps um, students like me want to come to a school that values both of those. So coach, tell us a little bit about the roster. So maybe some returners that you're excited to see back on the field. Oh, hundred percent. I mean, great roster. We're, we're, we're excited to finally have some upper class, you know what I mean? In the early goings, it was a lot of freshmen, sophomores. Uh, you look at the roster now, especially that starting unit, um, a lot, lot older, which is, which is really good. Um, and I think a lot of it, you know, we're led by, by great defense, uh, got a senior goalie in cage with Josh Hageman, who's just been phenomenal. Uh, all of our polls, you know, we got our senior Josh Jerome. Uh, we've got uh, a couple sophomores in Kaylin Tran, Preston Barnes. 
uh, Luke Modesto, another senior short stick defender in Micah Rex. That group has just been solid for us the last few years. And, and it's really been the same group, uh, which is actually very uncommon for new teams. Usually you see a lot of people kind of cycling in and out of positions. That group has been with each other now for a while. So really excited to see what they're going to be able to do now that they've had a few years together under their belt. Uh, very tight-knit group. Uh, on the other side, uh, really excited about our offense as well, which Matthew obviously is a part of. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got, again, some, some, some good upperclassmen leadership between him. Uh, Bubba is what we call Jason Lasmar. <laughs> He's another one of our crease guys. Great finisher. And, and probably really highlighted by one of the leaders in the IA in assists last year. And okay. I think that just really speaks to, I mean, he's a yeah, team guy when it comes to the offense and distributing the ball. And so I think, you know, looking at just the, again, the, the seniority, the, the, the upperclassman nature of both our offense and defense, we're really excited about what these guys are going to do and improve upon here, you know, in 2023. Sure. And with that, sounds like you have a great foundation. What are some specific goals you have for the team going into the season? Well, I'll say this. The biggest one is, is getting to play the competition that we're playing. You know, we want to be able to show and demonstrate that, that we can hold our own with the best in the NAIA and really even the best in, in NCAA Division Two and Division Three. Uh, but as far as like specific goals, I mean, we, we want to be a fast team. We want to be a transition team. Um, one of the things that we're really big on here is creating the, the whole lacrosse athlete. Uh, a lot of times, I mean, obviously you – you specialize, you have defenders, you have offensive players, but, you know, we want our defenders to be able to carry the ball and possess the ball just as well as our offensive players. Likewise, we, we preach to our attack on our midfield on the ride to be extremely defensive minded. And so we think that that has been something that last year started to show itself in our identity as a team. We think this year it's going to take, you know, step number two or phase number two and just being a, a complete team. So I think that's a, a big, big goal of ours um, beyond that. We want to be that fundamental mistake-free team. We feel like when we play that way, we can we can play with anybody. Uh, but but that's something obviously when we were a younger team we struggled with, and we're doing a much much better job with that. So we expect a pretty clean uh, season that way uh, this year as well. Very cool. And Matthew, I'd love to get your take on that as well. Maybe some personal goals you have, and also goals for the guys. Yeah, Coach Farr spoke to that team culture aspect already. And I think um, maybe even on some of our previous film, if things weren't going our way or if we had a missed shot, I know me on crease, maybe you might be able to see some helmets hanging. And that's something we definitely have been changing in practice and as a personal goal and especially just a leader on the offense with Brett. Um, we're trying to hold each other accountable as, listen, we're not going to make all of them. No offense goes 100%. But mm – -hmm. We want to be the team that keeps the momentum going in the right direction when we have it on our sides. And just the mentality of that, I think, is starting to come along in practices, and we're really excited to see that transition to the field. Yeah, and when you talk about camaraderie, right, you talk about accountability and the mentality, the like-mindedness. How's the team camaraderie? You guys get along really well off the field as well? Oh, absolutely. With class schedules and chapel time, it's not uncommon to walk in after class and just have an entire table of the lacrosse team. You're never looking for somewhere to sit. And I love that it's not always just the lacrosse guys. You always have a mix of their friends as too, as well. So you get the whole campus engaged and almost a part of that camaraderie with the team. And it's really an interesting and exciting dynamic. Yeah, very cool. And Coach, coming off a pretty successful season, 10 and 3 record, what do you hope to bring from last season into this season? Yeah, well, I'll say this, you know, the way that our team handled adversity last year was mm -hmm. huge. And, and in college across the, the length of the season, the physicality of the game, you're going to face injuries, you're going to face uh, you know, situations you walk into a game, you're expecting to have a, a certain roster and you have a different one. Uh, last year, we faced it a ton. And, it, and actually, it felt like it was before important games every time we'd have those big changes or, or those big uh, moments of adversity. But our guys really answered those well. And, and honestly, we're going to need that again this year to, to duplicate or have an even better season, which is our hope. Um, so I'd say that if we can carry over that, that way that we handle adversity, I think we're going to be in really good shape.
Awesome. Well, I know everyone's excited to see you all on the field. I want to say officially welcome to the heart, Coach Farr and Matthew. Best of luck. Thank you so much for your time today. Really appreciate it, guys. Thanks, Thank Julie. You. We appreciate it, too.